Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Carney of Time. I am Derek Ellis, and don't you forget it. Today we are going to Hyrule Castle to go meet the princess. And meet this other chick. So, anyways, let's get on with it. Let's go talk to her, this Milan. Hey, your clothes, they're different. You're not from around here. Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest. My name is Milan. My dad owns Lon Lon Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk, and he hasn't come back yet. Alright, so you do that. You go towards the castle, which is right there. Then you go back. I don't know why, but then she's not there anymore. And then you go forward. And look, you got picked. She's right there. Hello, Derek. This way, the princess is inside the castle just ahead. Be careful, not. Ah, oh, fuck, my bad. Yeah, time says this guy's not important anyway. You guys really don't have to listen to him. I hate the owl. He is the worst character in the game, because you don't need to talk to him all the time, and he won't shut up. No, I don't want to hear what you said again, please. Alright, so he's going to fly off, like a little bitch. Um, stuff's lagging, but whatever. And what's him on? Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around here the castle. What the thing what a thing for an adult to do, tee hee. Oh yeah. If you'll look for him, I'll give this to you. I've been incubating this egg very carefully, tee hee. You're incubating an egg? How you're <sighs> Alright, if anyone are you sitting on the egg, Milan? Was that was that egg in your ass? Jesus. Anyways, you get the chicken egg. Climb up these vines, very convenient, right after you talk to her. Um guys, I apologize ahead of time. I kind of uh fucked up the timing on this originally when I last ended my episode, some of the time went by. And that's why I didn't videotape us crossing Hyrule Field. Because I need it to be nighttime when I get over here so that the egg can hatch. And when I got here, yeah, and I got I got caught. Jesus. But it needs to be dark so then when sunrise, Talon we can wake up Talon. So it takes less time, saves me minutes on my recording, you die guys aren't kept waiting for a whole 12 hours, but my fault. And, yeah, I'm epically failing. Jeez. I am not doing a good job at all. And this is easy stuff. So, yeah. This is basically Hyrule Castle Field. Uh, yes, we will eventually go where that item to get in there, so doesn't matter. And don't get caught this time. Yeah, go over there. And run this way. You can see there's guards all along the side, so don't bother going up that way. You're gonna have to. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go a little bit farther. You have to. Go climb up these little rocks. It's very hard to notice if you don't, haven't played the game before. You're gonna jump off here. You can jump. You can go in the water. You can swim. You're gonna get some rupees. It's turning nighttime because I fucked up, but it's okay. Walk up. There you go. Fuck it. I got time to kill. My fault, guys. I, uh, kind of screw that, but, oh well. 
So he's gonna keep going. Alright. Gonna pull this block. Sweet. You gotta pull you gotta put the other one over there too. You need both blocks over there. If you haven't noticed already, you'll see what we're doing. Sorry guys, I'm really tired, and I have work in like 15 minutes. Like right after this recording, I'm going straight to work. So, I'm also not looking forward to going to work. I work at a bar at 19, but it's fun. But I don't, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And this recording, I already effed it up, so I'm not even in the mood to even commentate, but... So, I'm, s I'm sorry guys that this is going to be a bad episode, because really, I'm not really even doing anything. So it's... Yeah, I'm, I'm doing backflips for fun, for the fuck of it. There's really nothing for me to commentate. And I don't know how to edit that out yet, so... That's my fault. Alright, so it's going to be daytime. Get the chicken egg. There you go. I'm going to target onto Milan. Yeah. So it's easier. Alright, they hatched. What in tarnation? Can a person get a little shut eye around here? Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk. But I sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. What? Milan is looking for me. I messed up bad leaving Milan behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. Okay. Your daughter's like ten years old. You didn't really let her yell at you, come on. But anyways, now we can continue, because his fat ass is in the way. Yeah, guys, this this part of this game is kind of it's kind of slow, but after we do this, we gotta go learn a new song, grab a piece of heart. Um, there's another piece of heart I'm going to go get that's in the lost woods. But it's kind of time consuming, and if I mess up, it's even worse. So I'm just gonna end up shooting that once. So we're gonna be bosses, and we're gonna wrap around like so. Make sure you don't get caught. I don't think I get caught. No, I don't. The only time I got caught when was when I was outside. Man, I really have nothing to talk about, guys. This maybe let's we can talk about what's going to be coming out in the next Zelda game. Yeah. Um, I guess a whole bunch of stuff is supposed to be more expanded. So. The dungeons are going to say they say they're going to be like five times as bigger, and it's going to just be a giant area instead that you have to conquer. And they said Hyrule Field is going to be crazily big. Like it's going to be a very, very, very detailed Zelda game. We're going to have a lot of stuff to do. It's going to take us a very long time to get that all figured out so yeah alright now now we, we have a little story so now I can do this and it's gonna be fine huh who who are you did you get past the guards oh what's that is that a fairy 
Then are you from the forest? Come on. You live here? Then, then, you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, that green shiny thing? Uh, do you have it? Yeah. You do? Just as I thought. What? I had a dream and a dream. Dark storms and clouds were billowing below Hyrule. Suddenly, a ray of light shot out from the forest, parted clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this prof is this is a prophecy, and someone would come for it. Yeah, yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't properly introduce myself. I am Pr Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Wait, Derek? My bad. Strange, it sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Derek. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Alright. Keep this a secret from everyone. Alright. What's cracking, girl? What are you going to tell me about? Legend goes like this. Three glasses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of one who holds the Triforce in his hands. Okay. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. Alright. If someone with an evil mind has to wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil, and that is what has been told. By saying what's, someone will do that, and... The sage builds the temple town to protect the one's Triforce of Evil. The sages are going to have... One. Link's going to have one, because he's courage. And Ganondorf is going to have one. Because he's power, of course. So, the Temple of Time is the entrance to which can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed to the stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect all three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarnia of Time. Yep. Did you understand the story I just told you? Yes. That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Yes. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears my his allegiance to my father, I am sure he is joking. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. Uh oh. What happened? Did you see you? Don't worry, he doesn't have any idea what we're planning yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. Guys, next episode, we will continue this. I'm running out of time, so I have to cut it off short, but I'll record another one. It'll be right where we leave off. So, I am Derek Ellis, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Oh, and have a good day. Always have a good day. Oh, uh, that was really bad commentary.